How's it going, Eliminators? I'm just here in my shop, and I wanted to share with you a little pro tip of small engine repair. This is, I guess you could call it an electrical tip, maybe a testing tip. So I have a carburetor here. This is a Nikki carburetor. You guys can see it there. Nikki carburetor, Briggs & Stratton engine that came off of a Toro. I've cleaned the carburetor. I've also pressure tested the carburetor. And this has a fuel shutoff solenoid on the bottom end. This prevents your engine from backfiring. A lot of times this is called a anti-backfire device. And if you had a leaky needle jet, uh, this will prevent your engine from flooding. And to test these, normally if it has one prong on the end, you're gonna hook a positive to the prong and you're gonna hook a negative to the base. Uh, but you do need a source of nine volts minimum to engage this. So what I have here is just an energizer, nine volt battery, and my little pro tip that I wanted to share with you was this right here. So I pulled this out of a little clock and uh, the you know old radios, uh, alarm clocks are perfect because uh, they always have a nine volt backup. And all this is, is a little nine volt uh, plug, I guess you could say, where it has two wires, a negative and a positive coming off of it. And what I do is I take that and I plug it onto my nine volt battery. And then I use that on these two prong ones to put negative to one and positive to the other prong and you guys will see this move so I'll get a video of that so I can show you so again this little thing like I said it just plugs on just like that perfect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here I got my fuel solenoid in the vise and I'm gonna touch the negative and the positives to these little prongs and we're gonna see the little solenoid at the end here move and that's because this is operated by an electromagnet so when there's a source of nine volt minimum power to this the magnet pulls up on this and allows fuel into your machine okay so what you're going to do is you're going to touch again one end to negative and one end to positive and we should see this thing move there we go so this solenoid tests okay so this fuel solenoid tests okay and it's uh, good. So again, you just pop this off and we can use this at a later date, but that's just a little pro tip that I wanted to share with you guys instead of you know fooling around with alligator clips or wires and having to hold stuff. That thing just snaps right onto a nine volt battery and works awesome. And if you guys ever have an issue with these, sometimes they get old fuel because these right here, you can see it's threaded. These thread into the bottom of the carburetor there and block off your main jet. If these ever fail on you, they will stay in the up position, so they'll stay in the closed position. And a little, I guess you could say a, a little hack, is you just cut those off and grind that right off so that it's always in the open position. Uh, this will always allow fuel into your carburetor. And then what you do is you just go and get yourself a little inline fuel shutoff valve so that when you're done riding your machine, you shut the fuel off and that normally takes care of the issue. But again, just a quick little video that I wanted to share with you guys on uh, little tips and tricks to make your small engine repair life a little easier. Yeah.